This undisciplined episode begins in the modest Washington home of one of the world's most important people, General G.I. Brassbottom, brilliant soldier statesman and maker of decisions which helped to shape the destiny of the free world. Well, goodbye, my dear. I have to make some important decisions today. Like what? Don't rush me. I haven't decided yet. Well, don't decide to forget to bring home a quarter pound of bologna for dinner, or I'll break your knee. Oh, very well. I guess she doesn't realize that millions of men jump to obey my every command. Why, for two cents, I'd What was her... that? Uh, nothing, my pet, nothing. Boy, she thinks that just because I finished last in my class at West Point that I'm some kind of a dumbbell or something. <laughs> Dumbbell, you walked into the closet again. And so begins another typical day in the life of a great military leader. Good morning, sir. Oh, shut up. But at the Pentagon, this was not to be a typical day. For as General Brassbottom entered his private elevator, he immediately noticed that something was wrong. Growing up. Floor, please. Say, there's something suspicious about that elevator operator. Second floor, artillery, cavalry, chemical warfare, and ladies' better dresses. I can't seem to put my finger on it. Third floor, OSS, CID, AEC, BVDs, and medium price footwear. I know what's wrong. This is a self-service elevator. Help! I'm being taken for a ride! Take it easy, glass bottom. That's brass bottom, and I won't take it easy. This is my elevator. Oh, tell us, great leader. Listen, fella, do you know who I am? Sure, but do you know who I am? Well, you do look familiar. Give me a hint. Perhaps this will refresh your memory. Uh, Sam Colt. No. Peter Gunn. No. Ralph Revolver. Noodles Romanoff, nitwit. Noodles Romanoff, nitwit. Well, what's in a name anyway, eh, gang? The important thing is that General Brassbottom has been kidnapped by the man from Nasty himself, Noodles Romanoff and his band of no goods. Well, ask the government for a million dollars ransom, eh, boys? That's yeah, 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 I'd like yeah, to have that. Maybe the like tax yeah, it be good. You won't get away with this, Romanoff. Roger Ramjet will come to my rescue. Yes, how about Roger Ramjet? Was he ready to spring into action and rescue the general? No, he was not, because nobody had called him. Well, why don't we call Roger Ramjet? Because we can't use a hotline. General Brassbaum's the only one who knows a number. <laughs> what happened to your pal Ramjet? Guess he doesn't think you're important enough to rescue, eh, Glass Bottom? That's Brass Bottom and shut up! And just when everything looked blackest for the general... Hey, Shorty, here's a letter for you. For me? Who could it be from? Maybe it's your draft notice. That's a good one, huh, boys? Why, it's from Ramchet. He says, sorry you couldn't reach me by phone so I could rescue you. Please find proton energy pill enclosed. Love to the family. Roger! Good old Roger Ramjet. He'd sent the general a do-it-yourself rescue kit. Why, this will give me the strength of 20 atom bombs for a period of 20 seconds. Uh, may I have a glass of water? Here you are. Thank you. That'll teach you to fool around with the United States Army. Later that same evening... I'm home, sweetie pie, and what a day I've had. I bet you forgot the baloney. Well, as a matter of fact, Boy, I... that takes the cake. You've got nothing to do all day but order people around. Well, and I ask you to do one little thing. Dear, I... you always think of... And well, so to... another day in the life of America's foremost military leader ends on a note of triumph, thanks to Roger Ramjet and the American Eagle Squadron. <laughs>